welcome to my channel in this lecture we are going to see about laser diode so what is meant by laser so it is a highly directional beam which is very powerful and very focused so there are certain properties of laser which shows the uniqueness of the laser first one is it is monochromatic which means it has a single wavelength unlike the unlike the wavelengths of uh, electromagnetic radiations such as uh, uv radiations ir radiations laser has a single wavelength laser is highly monochromatic next one is coherent the word coherent means it means a laser beam is highly in phase or it is not out of phase when it is emitted third one is collimated it means it is a highly directional beam so that it can be focused on a single direction fourth one is high energy laser diodes are capable of emitting high energy radiations whose unit is joule per second so the it can be called as power optical power whose unit is joule per second so let's go to the symbol of laser diode so this is the symbol of laser diode you can see this uh, uh, resembles a pn junction diode with arrow pointing in this direction it means it is a laser diode it is a diode which emits radiations we have to note that led the light emitting diode has also the same symbol so when mentioning that we have to mention that this is a symbol for laser diode and draw the diagram next one is the construction of the laser diode here you can see some of the important parts that make up a laser diode so first one is a metal contact available at the both ends of the laser diode next one is the p type material which is made up of gallium arsenide and next one is the intrinsic layer so it is a layer which is called as a homo junction layer which means it has both p type and n type material made up of the same material gallium arsenide so this is all about the construction of the laser diode so when we come to working principle of the laser diode there are certain uh, steps by which a laser diode works we know about the energy absorption and energy emission of an electron so we know that electron will be in the n is equal to zero state at the lower energy level when it is not excited or no external energy is applied so this is the first concept of energy absorption where the electron is raised to the higher energy state so some when external voltage is applied to the laser diode the electrons from the lower energy state moves to the upper energy state by absorbing some energy so n is equal to 1 is the higher energy state next one is the state of spontaneous emission so in the spontaneous emission electrons will move from the higher energy state to the lower energy state so when it moves from the higher energy state to the lower energy state it has to emit some uh, photons it will emit some photons this is this represents that it is releasing the absorbed energy in terms of photons here i talked about energy absorption when external voltage is applied the electrons move to the higher energy state this electron stays here for some time this time is called as recombination time electrons and holes recombine in the lower energy level so before recombination due to energy absorption electron stays in the higher energy level for some amount of time this time is called as recombination time so as about the spontaneous emission it moves to the lower energy state emitting some photons then comes the part of stimulated emission how the stimulated emission occurs so this is one of the important concept in the laser diode when when you talk about the laser diode we talked about metal contact this p type and n type layers and intrinsic layers one more important part is the reflecting mirrors reflecting mirrors partial reflecting mirrors the partial reflected mirrors will be placed on the both sides of the laser diode so what happens is this is the first step where the electrons move to the higher energy state stays for some time 
and when it moves to the lower energy state it emits some photons now we are going to use this photons the concept is utilizing this photons by use of this partially reflecting mirror we are going to produce more and more photons so placing the partial reflecting mirror on on both sides of the pn junction diode what happens is when when the one photon is when electrons rise to the higher energy level and moves to lower energy level photons are excited this excited photons are reflected back and forth by this mirror partial reflecting mirrors so by this back and forth reflection this photons trigger more and more electrons to rise to the higher energy level and move to the lower energy level releasing some more photons the released some more photons will be in phase with the already excited or released photons released energy so this is the principle of a working principle of a laser diode so when we come to the characteristics this characteristics is called as pa characteristics power and current characteristics x axis is the current and y axis is the power whose unit is joule per second here we have to observe that supply is given and the current starts increasing from zero to a point where these mirrors are kept and photons are excited photons are excited and more and more uh, recombination takes place due to this excited amount of photons more and more recombination takes place this after placing the mirror the recombination time is reduced before placing the mirror the recombination time it took a longer time but after placing the mirror due to <coughs> excitement of more and more photons which are in phase in with each other recombination time occurred in prior so due to that recombination some amount of current was produced so that is this current we are observing in this axis current increases increases and at a certain point the point it is called as threshold current which which is a point where the emitted photons escape out from the partially reflected mirrors partially reflecting mirrors so what happens is when there are adequate amount of photons or enormous number of photons emitted by this back and forth reflection what happens is the excited photons start escaping out of the <coughs> partially reflecting mirror and appear as output from one side of the laser diode there you can see that this is the point where there are enormous number of photons after which there is a very high amount of optical power which we can experience so this region is called as spontaneous emission and this region is called as stimulated emission where the power optical power starts to increase rapidly and reach a maximum level so at the point where the adequate amount of photons are ready to escape out from the mirror this point is called as threshold current so after the point of threshold current there will be rapid increase of the power before which the power was very meager or very less so entirely this is a working principle of a laser diode so laser beams are used in various purposes such as in surgeries or cutting of uh, metals cutting of uh, heavy metals in the industries so in simple this is about all about the working principle of a laser diode and this is the pa characteristics which is very important you have to take note of thank you